Ladies and gentlemen, Jazz Borgonzo here. What's next? We're going to talk about a couple of things today. Um, I did not get a chance to do my daily yesterday, but uh, I think this will make up for it. Two stories. Uh, both have gone viral. Uh, one is uh, falls under the category of uh, mental illness, i.e. wokeness. And the other is just uh, plain stupidity and good old-fashioned racism. But um, let's take a look. Story number one. United Airlines announces they will no longer hire the best pilots. Yes. They are no longer hiring based off of experience, training, um, being put in situ certain situations, uh, how would they handle it. They are saying, you know what? We're going to hire based on what's between your legs. And what colors your skin? That's the ticket. Oh boy. United Airlines is taking a bizarre business risk announcing, <clears throat> excuse me, announcing to the world it will no longer hire the best pilots available, but will instead make sure that 50% of their trainees for flying you around the world will be women and minorities. Talent and skill be damned. It's sad, but uh, yeah, they're not making this up. Um, if I didn't say before, this is coming out of PJ Media. This is the Twitter announcement from United Airlines. Our flight deck should reflect a diverse group of people on board our planes every day. That's why we plan for 50% of the 5,000 pilots we train in the next decade to be women or people of color. Of course, as everybody knows, people of color is just a buzzword for uh, diversity hire, identity politics, in my opinion, bullshit. But let's um, let's hear what United. Departure view is looking at the plate. Everything checks good. We're going to just nab it out. The airplane set up for us to actually fly navigation all the way out for the hour nav departure. Captain, over you. Any special specific things you're going to do for me? Thank you. That sounds great. It looks like a great day. Flight attendant said they'll be ready to go in about 15 minutes. So well, I think we're all done here on my side. Looks like we're pretty good. I think we're waiting on a couple bags. Okay. Great. We're way ahead of schedule. Good day. It's always good to be ahead. Yeah. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to continue on and then I'll give you my take at the end of this. Their website details the diversity comment, commitment with more woke speak than I can usually tolerate in one paragraph. And let's see, this was, yeah. Today, United has one of the most diverse pilot populations of any U.S. carrier with nearly 20% of our pilot group made up of women and people of color. We are working towards raising that number even higher by partnering, partnering with diversity-led organizations, i.e. woke, and continuing to remove gender and racial barriers. And we're going one step further with plans for 50% of our United Aviate Academy students being women and people of color to ensure our students reflect students reflect the diversity of our customers and communities we serve now let's examine that statement one of the most diverse ding women and people of color ding diversity led organizations ding gender and racial barriers ding women of people and women and people of color ding reflect diversity ding now in that just one little statement alone, check off five, no, no, I won't say that. It's basically the same box, the same identity politic, diverse, woke, garbage box was checked off five times in that one statement alone. Unbelievable. To continue, 
Now, I don't have a problem with women or minority pilots. If they graduated to the top of their class and met all safety requirements. Remember that? Remember when, I don't know, you would get in your car and you would worry about, hmm, safety. When you were get in a plane and say, do we have the best people qualified for safety? <clears throat> If they graduated the top of their class and met all safety requirements and passed all their tests that are required to become a pilot, I don't think anyone does. What is concerning about the new diversity push is that their action would necessarily push out the qualified, possibly better skilled non-women and minorities. Wait for it. White people. Is this... How we want our pilots to be chosen. I don't know about you, but I'm on a plane that is uh, in a, plummeting to the ground, and I'm feeling grateful that at least a pilot is a minority or experience who is who experienced gender discrimination. Maybe that makes me a bigot, but guaranteed, I'm not the only one. Now, my take. Once again, you have this uh, mental illness of woke. There was a comment that uh, Mark Dice uh, used to say constantly regarding liberalism is a mental disease or liberalism is a mental illness. Well, that's been replaced with wokeism. Wokeism is now the new racism. Wokeism is the new mental illness because anything else, everything else falls underneath that wokeism umbrella. When you have companies that are more worried about what's between your legs and what skin color you have versus are we going to hire the best people and train them the best, the best experienced people to do the fun job. According to United, no. No. We don't care about your safety. We just care about identity politics. Whew. I was going to make that part one of part two of this story, but I'm just going to let this stand on its own because mm, 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 mm. wokeism constantly gives out those wonderful and mwah, tasty morsels of goodness. And with that being said, I'm Jasbro Gonzo. This is what's next. You want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, hit that no. Hit that subscription button, excuse me. Make sure you slam that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.